once dry stream in Sydney may show its best salmon return ever this year. Much work has gone into enhancing the salmon habitat, but people who live uh, on the creek say much more needs to be done. As CTV's Stephanie Sherlock reports, they hope the presence of coho will be enough to make it happen. These fish are quite shiny. They've just come out of the ocean. Out of the ocean in record numbers for Ray Creek. This is exciting to be able to, to know that these salmon are here right. in these volumes again. Last year, Reg Kirkham counted eight or nine salmon in the stream that backs his property. This year, the Peninsula Stream Society expects 80 to 100. The, the community takes great pride in that there is, there is fish here. The school kids release fry in here from their classroom incubators and it's, uh, like I say, a great source of pride for the whole community. These coho casualties, though unfortunate, are a good sign. They went tried to go up the emergency overflow instead of up the spillway. High water levels from recent heavy rains encouraged them, but as can happen, these fish made a wrong turn. So there was enough water for them to just get onto that ledge, but not enough water for them to turn around and swim off of it. A little concerned that those salmon um, you know, did everything they could do to get here and we kind of let them down a little bit by not having the access they needed to continue. A concrete ledge to fix that is small compared to the work that brought this creek back to life. Years of remediation and environmental enhancement appear to be paying off. The return of salmon to this creek is great news and Reg hopes that it prompts the neighboring municipalities to provide an environmental assessment of the area as he says there's still work that needs to be done. And it's under some serious uh, development threat right now for high density homes in this area. And uh, I'm just hoping that everybody will slow down a little bit. The creek flows through both Sydney and North Saanich, meaning further work will be a team effort. The DFO needs to step up to the plate, I, I believe, and I think we need some environmental responsibility that's not in place right now. To ensure future generations of spawning salmon can fulfill their destiny. Reg says he'll do whatever he can to make that happen. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Sydney.